Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really worry it like oh, yeah. Here comes the What's up everybody, it's Double O Gaming here with the latest and greatest videos. And today for you guys we have some RCT3 on River Valley. Today we actually do a project which I think is pretty awesome. Um we're doing an anti-cars ride. And if you think it's gonna be some simple flat track, there's a little more to it. As you can see right now we're elevating it and we're gonna put some more details into it. It's going to be one of those things that I have not actually done before. Like, I've done car ride. I've done that's, like, super simple. But I haven't done it to a certain degree that you're going to see in this video. Uh, there's a lot of extra things that are done here, and I can't wait for you guys to check that out. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to be along for the ride, so have fun. Right now what we're doing is we've just done a double, uh, the double layers on the sides and the back and on the front we're doing one layer for two blocks going down and if you don't know what I mean by the layer thing it's um so practically this is going to be used so then when it comes to using the paths instead of making steps it's going to just be a steep climb up so it's going to make a little bit of more of a difference if that makes any sense but this is mainly just us doing a little bit of uh geography kind of like work we're making sure everything like fits the way it's supposed to. I'm trying to put the grid on. The grid keeps going on and off again, so it makes it super difficult for what we're trying to do. And now I'm trying to see certain things, or how do I put this? Um, what we're really trying to do is uh, first one seeing the rides and see if that um they had the uh Model T kind of styled car. In certain areas, but before we get into that, I actually remember we uh try to see if we can get this path part done right here. So when we get over there, we can tweak it a little more. It looks pretty cool. And I will say this: we do a lot of tweaking in that little spot right there because that's where the exit will be, and we want to make it look good. Right now, we're seeing to make sure if that has different things. It doesn't have the Model T, so we go back to the back and get the other classic car one that has only one car, and that's. A Model H, believe it or not. It's pretty cool, yeah. I know my cars. Um, so anyways, this is a little bridge pi uh, piece before. We have this little guy down there to see how much it really does. And, uh, it's, see, it's, it's really close to the ground. It's really dangerous. So, we edit this path work very much. In fact, we do a little steep climb like that, just so then we can see if that fits. And then we try putting it over, and it really doesn't work after that. But it looks cool right there. But then, of course, we do this. We put it over. Look under. It's like, ah, uh, does not work still. So we go one more down. And I think that was probably one of the most helpful things I could have done right there. Because then we actually get it as a nice platformed area. And it does look amazing after that. We're putting in a little bit, a uh, little bit bit of the stuff down there just to help ourselves out with that now we're getting the three pieces so we can finish up the back part of it which is where the um exit's going to be and that's the little pathway you do through the exit it's pretty cool um so yeah you're going to just see a little bit of that that's going to be really great uh now we're just putting up the pieces it's kind of just going one by one by one it's just yeah and we do that, it actually kind of looks cool right now, before we put everything in. I almost felt like Picasso, you know, just like, look at some of that stuff. It just looks cool and cooler the way it is. And then, of course, we fix all of this up, so then it looks more clean and neat. And it keeps the design nice and fresh, something more original. We put back up the grid, and then we put down these paths. So then, we have what we need for our area. <coughs> Alright, uh, now what we're doing is we're putting the bridge over now. And the bridge actually works this time. Now we're just building in uh, the whole setup of this ride. It's going to be a bunch of turns that go kind of fun, kind of mix around where we want things to be. It's going to be a fun family ride for uh, kids. So yeah, that's going to be nice and great. When we get near the end, there's a few fun turns around the place. Then we do a little wiggle around. And it kind of just comes out pretty great in the end. It cues back in the station. 
got our entrance and exit, we put up a bunch of cars, and now the big thing that we're trying to do is, we are trying to look for a nice color, and there are a few ideas when it comes to colors, I like quite a few that pop up in the mind right now, first we're getting the price, so it's all the way down, now we're going into colors, and some of the color schemes that we have are kind of creative, we tried to do green and white, that didn't work, then we tried to do blue and white, doesn't work, and we go over to red, uh, we do red and black, that actually looks really good, and the white grill, it really finishes it off. Uh, uh, after a little while, though, we'll put it to a darker red, so it fits more of the theme, but you can see that really looks nice, and, uh, yeah. Also, I, uh, I don't show it in the video, but I do actually name this ride off camera. Uh, the name of this ride is Cadillac Creek. Yeah, it's a fun name. Oh, dropped my iPod, my bad. It's, yeah, it's, uh... Cadillac Creek, though. That's pretty great of a name, I think. Pretty sure it is. Um, now we're putting over these little fences for the bridge. It's just something short and simple for a little small, neat little add-on to what we're doing. And I think that's pretty great. We're just putting the things around here, trying to add more detail to make this feel more fantastic than it already is. Now we're putting up these single little pieces up here just to add more detail, I guess. If that's the way we're going to say it. Alright. Uh, now what we're doing is. We're going over to the wooden area. Because we're going to put a little shed in here as well. And I think that will actually look even better than before. And the shed is just stuff for you to drive through. My inspiration for this is King's Dominion. And um, it's in Virginia. It's pretty great. I got a little car ride and you drive through a little shed. It looks amazing. And that's my big inspiration for it. And I want to add some detail to the shed, though. So then it kind of just looks more fun. Um, yeah, I'm all about the real, uh, realistic look of things when it comes to this game. I just love it when it's more realistic. Now we're putting in some kind of like uh, little things in there just to add on to the fun. And on this side, we're going to go over to... Uh, Actually, first we're going to check out some of these fences, because I want to know if first we could use any of them. None of them really catch my eye, and we have another way of kind of blocking the ride, and we'll do that in the next episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking through all this. It doesn't really appeal to me. But what we do get are these little pull things, and we put them on the side of uh, the buildings. It makes it kind of give its own frame to it, and that is really creative. It really helps out with the look and the build of it. Now, uh, now is where we put in the darker color. And the darker color to it now just like really looks good. So now we're working on the queue. The queue is actually my favorite part of this because in the end it looks phenomenal. And on the POV of this as well, which uh, will be after the uh, Eastern Rattler. Uh, again, I'll be going through this a little slower before we go on the POV. And uh, yeah, but like my point is the queue will look maybe the nicest it's very simple design but it does come out amazing i can't wait for you guys to see that but right now you're seeing us put together the queue <coughs> my bad uh which all we're doing is using gates and uh, not gates uh we're using the western world fences and then using some of these higher poles and then using more western stuff because as an antique design thing i like to use the wooden builds for it Plus, it feels more, um, creative, I guess you could say. I don't know. It just, uh, something about these open cues kind of look nice. Because it's just like one of those, uh, simply made designs. They're, they're not overthought. They're just, uh, more or less a few poles and a few roofs. And there you go. You have a building. And I think that looks nice when it's like that. But as you can see, here's just what the building is. It's these small little roof parts I got from the barn section of the western pack and uh yeah we're just putting this around here it's something nice flat and small it's not going to overdo anything but we're also now going to put in the uh little flat roofs which are going to just add on to the fun effect we're putting these on that makes this look just phenomenal now from a distance you'll notice how cool that looks when we get near the end and uh, i just i mean that though it's going to look amazing when we get near the end now, right now, what we're doing is we're trying to think of what kind of fencing we want around here. And at first, we used this, and we actually changed it, so don't worry. We do change this. Uh, but the reason why is because we 
the thing that I put out this, I screwed up so much that I just couldn't go back. And I felt like, okay, you know what, we gotta be able to change this. But So, um, after a little bit of work from other things, we'll be changing it and adding other things to it, which will make this look awesome. And you guys will see it, and hopefully you'll love it. And now what we're doing is we're going around... Let's remember. Um, we are going to work at the front of this and put our little flower beds. Now, first I do this, and then I remember, oh yeah, I'm going to be putting stuff in there. So I raise the flower beds very, very high, and I set them up like that, and I do it on both sides, and it looks really, really good. Now what I'm doing, though, is that I'm going to start putting a little bit of these bushes, put them, sink them down, so it just looks like tall grass, and it looks really good up here. Then we're putting the bushes over here, and we're going to just make them look better, you know? Uh, same thing over on this side. Just simple bush work. We're trying to make it look a lot better and um, more associated, I guess, is a term you could use. Um, now we're just putting some more Utopia in it, because everyone loves a good amount of Utopia. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and yeah, we're putting some ducks and some squirrels. Now, right here, yeah, this is where we're changing the fence. We're changing it more to the uh, rickety, uh, or the pick, pickety, I think is what they call No, they call it the rickety fence. Yeah, it's the rickety fence that I've been using all around with the rocks and the other thing. Before we get to that, I just remembered, we are putting in these trees, and then we're going to put in some bushes, and then some rocks to really just build into everything. So then, you really get that woodsy feel, and again, in the end, it just looks so amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, but yeah, we're just putting around all these trees, going to fill them in. We're not going to like put them jam-packed next to each other, because we still want this to look semi-natural. We want this to feel like... It wasn't there for a cool decoration in the end, but we kind of just built this ride around a piece of forest. I don't know. It's mainly just to, like, look good to the guest, and I think it does look amazing in the end. I think it's really good addition. But now we're adding these bushes to just add on to the effect, because, I mean, you can't have a good ride without some bushes. I don't know. Uh, uh, we're going around, we're putting up these bushes, then we're going to go over and get some rocks in a second. In fact, actually, right now, we're going to go and get some rocks, and we're going to place those down. We're putting a few to make more natural looks around the place, but we're not overdoing it to a point where there's a rock everywhere you turn. We just want to put it in certain areas, so then it just kind of feels nice in certain spots. And I think that looks even better than I thought it would. Um, now what we're doing is the fencing. This is near the end of the video though. Um, but right now, we're putting up these rickety fences. And I actually think that looks really good when you're going down the pathway. When you look down on the other side, it's like just a really cool look. I love that. But now we're adding some trash cans in. Because people might have to throw away some stuff for vomit when they get off the ride. I know, it's like an extremely intense ride that goes 8 miles per hour. You know, you, you can't control yourself sometimes. But yeah. Um, right now what we're going to be doing is the coloring. This is literally the last part of it. So uh, we're just putting some roofing up here and making it look more like wood and less like tar. And we're just doing the fence part. And that's practically it. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and leave a comment on what you want to see next. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be part of the latest things that pop up on this video. Because, you know, anytime there's a new video, I think it's best that you guys can go check it out. But, uh, without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, this is Double Gaming, signing off.